Okay, so today is the day where I begin uh, modifications for the resources to use the new system that I got last session. Starting with Armature, which is still in the Bring Up application. Now, first item is on the table is okay the constructor and destructor, which was just moving this stuff around, so I don't need this. And the destructor is basically there just to check use and ref counts, which is now done by that function, so that's gone. So these two are gone. That's great. Load, load, and okay, so getting the create info, let's have a look at this. Is there anything armature specific about this? No, there isn't. For getting the create info, okay. What about load? Or even unload. No, there's nothing actually image specific beyond image uh, armature specific or type type specific. There, other than like the actual name, this is all very generic. So I'm do I have like this copy pasted around all the types? I think I do. If I check out image, same thing. Just about. Okay, so that's another thing I can actually move over to here is I can add a couple of new functions. So I got the get data to do, do, do two, three. So full resource. Mm. info load and unload Not these I need the external C Okay, and for the uh, create info, I have the resource, so I need to do this. Roll three, really. I need to check the is loading. Okay, how am I doing this? If I already, if, sorry, I'm not looking at that. I want to look at this. If I already have mutex, rather than doing this, create info, can I just, hmm. Okay, no, for now, I'll just continue to do the same. Expected is false. The resource is loading. For exchange strong, expected. True. What is it? Is it full resource core? Then I need the this type. Load in parallel and give me the ID and type. And then I would 
Oh, I need to increment. I can just use that for. Decrement return. The auto create function be doing this. Either that and that, okay. The P resource. If I have a new one, and I say that is false, then that Forward declaration of that. Okay, I'm missing that. P resource. If I can type it right. Resource ID. Okay, uh, do, 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 ID. down I'd be actually running it this otherwise I just run it directly And then we'd be doing something similar on the load side. So I need to increment it. Then I need to say basically this thing again. have a load function. Uh, this is also going to take in it, whether or not to refresh create info. All right, this becomes P resource. this, this p load function. Okay, I need a post load. I'm 
not entirely sure on this. Load function of armature loader. So what it would call so this would call into the load context, the load function of the load context. So it'd be this. It should go to this. The only thing I use P resource for is to pass it back to the post load function. I don't actually do anything with it here. Is that correct? I have the create info provided another way. Wait, what? No, this post load function is going elsewhere. This is actually going to the registrar function down here, right? Yeah, this resource that, at which point it goes through trying to find this and this. It finds a loader that can use this and passes this in down to here and then down to here. So I can change these around. It doesn't have to be a void star anymore. It could just be the faux resource handle instead. Okay, I need to change up this. So to be sure, be the context, which is a simulation. Second will be the foe, the resource. So I change this up to be foe resource. Faux resource resource call H. Or mm, realistically, this should just be kind of like internal to here now as well. So the basically the same stuff for the moment. Hmm. I have the function stuff. Ah. Okay. Um. It's still a C plus plus type. So. Resource, resource H. So the full resource ID I can pull in from that. Standard error code.
resource ID is from here. So that shouldn't be fine. So we got that. That leaves resource is <clears throat> implementation. Switching over from for resources functions to for resource functions to which I'm getting from that. Okay, I think that will work. So what's going on here? I uh, do I okay, I don't need to need to do this. Because what's gonna happen, this is just gonna be like the faux resource handle. Which means I can then do this. F the error code. Then I can go through this with faux resource core. Fail to load with error. Message that. ID type. The resource state becomes failed that and finally decrement out. Actually, it wouldn't matter which way it goes, right? It can decrement out. There, that way. Okay, this <sighs> load context, so that's simulation. Then I need to pass through resource. And this has to be updated to <clears throat> that, that post load function.
All right. I think, I think, I think, I think I can work with this. So it'll go into the load function, which will then run into here, which is going to be changed in a moment. And then it'll go to the post load function, which has the resource and this. Error code, in which case it'll say, hey, you know, give me the handle. I'll convert it to this. And then I'll say it's no longer being loaded. That's fine. And then I need the uh, <clears throat> this little thing at the bottom to load low to load synchronously or asynchronously. So load function. Finally, the unload. for the armature itself, it's just this. So we've got P resource, we've got a, a sync up. Unload functions. Um, which are currently is part of the data. Should it really be? No, no, it shouldn't be. <clears throat> so we have the create info here. Create info data. Loaded members, I guess. Things dealing with uh, when it's loaded. So we've got the content. We want to move th these out for sure. So these are just going away as well. Keep them there for the moment, though. Peel load context is null pointer. That's also null pointer. Okay. So <clears throat> back to this. If we have a put, uh, unload function, then I actually need to call it with the stuff in context um, with the resource this the reiteration that I want it to be unloaded via and that and I'm forcing an uh, immediate unload Should normally be false or should normally be false. <clears throat> so 
Scrolling into back into this. Registrar. Going all the way back up to this armature load function. I need a new version of this P3 source loader. <clears throat> which doesn't take this, which takes in a faux resource. Instead, which I don't even have here. I'm guessing I just don't even bring in that at all from here. That should work. Oh, I got a, okay. Resource and simulation are depending on each other right now. Okay. How did I do this? It's based on simulation. Okay, was it pulling in from faux simulation? It's pulling in that created info. Okay. If that's all it is, then for the moment, I'm just going to make a uh, <clears throat> move it up here so that I can do that. I can get rid of this resource dependency on that. Should be almost transparent. Resource CPP, resource, resource functions. Okay. Oh. load state now undeclared identifier yep Let's, that's replaced, that's replaced, and this will be replaced. So there's just no point to having this function, uh, this uh, file at all anymore. Almost, we can basically just do this. And these two are gone. And this is gone. certainly simplify things downstream <clears throat> in the end when this is all done so armature pool pool resource
This is the resource manager. So, bow resource decrement craft count resource. So the armature pool is being converted from using this to just full resource. It's just way. Okay. <clears throat> um, this is bad this is bad this is bad okay we're not going to do going to do this here we're just going to do the same thing i'm just going to make a copy of this in the core right here i'm going to move it i'm going to add another load function which is going to take in full resource Maybe the second load function. So we still pass the same thing around. That's great. Down in the registrar, I need a second function. Very similar. That instead takes in that. I don't even need to do a conversion here. I need something along the lines of uh, equals resource get create info of that. I want to pass that, pass that, okay. Going back up here, I need something that's in the C++ arena. Faux res export. Uh, standard. I need, to I need to return this shared pointer. That's what I need to do. For the uh, create info right now. Do that up here. Let's do both of these down here. So it's all more obvious as to why they're here. So going back down to this. Why is all this breaking? Hmm. Oh. So this is back down to using the, the original.
almost. There we go. Loading immediately, unloading normally. Do -do -do -do, returning that type. Okay. So going back to the registrar, the second version of this. So we load function two. So not, I got the resource. I'm getting the resource. If I can do that, I'm passing it through. Right? Yeah. And then I need to, this is the second one. Oh, P load function two equals this two, okay. Why is this not working? Ah. Come on. No, this is correct. P load function what? Okay, how's this working? Okay, let's go through this with an iterator instead, IT. And then let's say, okay, we didn't find it, so we need to create a new handle. And I need an create resource. We're going to have 
resource. The type. Structure armature. The resource functions I have. It's the size of the armature. No, I'm missing something. The destruction function, perhaps? Is that what I'm missing? I think that'll be it, right? Yeah, I'm going to need that. Uh, hmm. Or would I? I mean, no, I need a destruction. Do I need a destruction? No. I don't need a destruction or destroyer because that's what the unloading is going to do. The unloader is the thing that's already dealing with destruction of the type, right? To destroy it, I need to call unload with immediate effect and then, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, unload with immediate effect. So destroy so destroy blah, destroy function, gone. Boom. Don't need it. Mm -hmm. What I do need though is to do this. I can just I could just do this, call it from within here, right? Anyone who puts data into the resource needs to have something to be able to get it out else. to resource.h this is gone would be amazing there we go that's gone this is down resource implementation no longer has that that's one less thing I need to know up front that's good So this, this, and then is there anything else up in size? No, it's just and new resource. If there's an error code I need to return, no pointer. Hmm. Otherwise. Increment the it by one. I need to emplace it, so I don't need this. 
and then I need to return the full armature star. No, I can't do that. Because it's uninitialized data. There's nothing there. There's no data. Full resource, full resource, full resource, okay. This is it becomes this Okay. Now go <laughs> into the armature system. I have to change it up because now it is this. So now it's a faux resource. Armature if armature not equal full null handle sorry is it equals full null handle or uh, the git state git state not equal that then faux armature star p armature equals faux resource get data of that Armature, armature. Uh, 
So it's no longer a sub thing, it's just that. And we say it's a const as well as of it, presumably. That's something we're gonna to wanna to do. Binding reference of for animation equals p armature animations. Oh, it needs to be const, right? Same thing again. So first of all, we get the for resource. Do 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 armature, we get it. If armature equals we'll handle. state then I need to say hippo armature star const star equals hmm no data sub thing it's just directly into it now okay we don't need this anymore we just need that the load data this Okay, yeah. Now we're back into like, how am I dealing with the loading and unloading of this? So, uh, been about an hour, let me pause for a second, grab a drink, just a sec, BRB. Okay, back to this loading. Okay, how's this, how is this working? So when we get in here, we have, we don't have a pilot, we don't have these anymore. Um, so a couple of things probably need to change for this then. How does the post load function, the post load function is here this and this wouldn't be here. I don't even necessarily want to create info here. Um, hmm. What's going on here? I would lock the armature until after I'm done loading I would scope lock it until I've after I've added it to this I don't under why would I have this here what possible there's no reason it's gone so let's do this uh, create info we add other information to it presumably that's what this is going on about I don't have that 
Okay. I would load, added the stuff, and then I added the armature to this thing. Um, I have the new, I needed the new load function, right? I have. Would I actually want or need what would happen is if I go up here, okay. I'm in the middle. Okay, I don't know. I do not know. That's the thing. I would come back through for an immediate unload. Okay. So this would still be about the same. So. Resource CPP. This P unload function needs to be changed to just say info resource. Okay. That's the unload function. Then here, pro resource. Resource, great. Do we actually do anything here? Mm, not quite yet. On the not immediate one, we'd increment it. Resource, resource, okay. I need to include. So I increment it. And then I slap it on here, source. The destroy unload data is for resource. Resource, and I want to do specific iteration still, that's correct. Go back into here, resource, resource, bam. I move up back up to here. I am doing it. And then I say, hey, I'm going to decrement it. I'm going to go back through on the true. And then, okay, how do I actually this <clears throat> I 
Okay, I would. I I do want to. I don't want to have to be able to just lock and unlock from here. This this would be terrible. Okay, when am I actually doing the loading part? What happens here? I'm running through the unload portion. Do I need this to be here? Do I? Do I really? I don't think so. What if, as part of the post load function here, I give it, I have the armature, no. As part of the load data, this is gone. I just have resource. This and this. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm passing this in. Because this is now faux resource. Two more pointers. Okay, here's the idea. Armature, armature, armature. Or... No, resource. Resource here, as part of the post load function, we have this, we have void star, which is, you know, the P source. And then I have some kind of function that's something like this, move data function. Which is void star with the P source and void star of the P destination. So what I would do is on the low on the successful load, I need to do p resource uh, sync lock and I would unlock it, and at this point, I call p move data function with the p source and the destination which is full get, uh, resource get data of resource location um, data I need and I need an internal one for this then load function 2 needs to be updated for this. So we got a load function too, which is that for resource void star void pointer void star void star 
error code. So if there's an error code, it doesn't use these, otherwise it will. That's the idea. Postload function, da 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 da, move data function. Um, I'd also have to, oh no, what about the, I also need to set the unload stuff. Ah. There you are. So I need to do that, and then I need to do p resource um, p unload context. Okay, let's update these as well. Here in the resource uh, functions, that, 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 and that. So we go back to the armature loader. We're attempting to load this thing. So what we're doing exactly, we're not going to do the unload and stuff here. We'll leave that to the post load function. So it's just it's basically just this. We've got that. We've got the source, which is uh, it dot data pointer of that we have the move function um, we'll do an in location p destination of we'll say auto star p destination uh, it's a full armature standard move of That. That's the move function. And we have the unload function. So uh, context this and the unload function, which I used to just this. And no error code here. So everything's just going just fine and dandy. All this is gone. This is gone. ID dot post load. Okay. Um, create info resource functions. Okay. Uh, the new thing we need to new like type def going to say, you know, um, function pointer for
is that And then I want to, in the loader, here we're just going to use this. Just like that. And here. here instead it'll be up here somewhere okay what are we missing out of this Called object that is not a function or function pointer. Is, is that what it should be? Too few arguments to call. Expected five, have three. One, two, three. Did I screw this up? Load function two. I think I screwed this up a little bit. Right. It's supposed to be this. Five versus six. Oh, come on. <sighs> Root function. And I can't use this. It needs to be full error code instead. Maybe you put this up front as well instead. Okay. Back to this.
where is the new um the um, the blah, 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 blah. destroy 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 tell me Is it a recursive mutex? In which case, I could just, yeah. I should just be able to do this. And I'll get rid of the recursiveness later. With the, the most simple mutex. At the moment. With new data in. By the way, loading is now false. Okay, we got something going on here. Mm. So back to the resource loader, armature pool, armature loader. We now have this. So we got, first of all, this is up at the front now. This, the source data, the move function. So what's going on here? What do you know? What do you not like? I'll bet it's the lambda, right? Oh. So I got this with the move data, the data moved in, great. So going down here, I need to immediate unload. Um, I don't have internal access. Ah! Pointer, no pointer, no pointer, and no pointer. Yeah, you're right. So something that's going to have to happen is I need an auto destroy function, something like this. Equals 
equal something like this, where we have the p source. destination again same thing just going in reverse so we have that so we have to do like an inline delete or no And then we're going to delete. So p dist armature. So armature. We're just going to clear out the data just immediately. Just call it a destructor on it. So it's uninitialized data on the way out. And So I, much like on the loading side, I just actually have to call, so I need to pass in a function from there so I can actually call this inside, safely inside the resource itself. So I need like a, so, uh, Resource unload call. <clears throat> Something like this. I need a resource. I need the resource itself. I need the iteration that I'm unloading. I need, it needs to be correct, which is an int. U int. destination and then I need the actual like um, I don't want to call it the unload function because I already have that work function what would happen here is I'd have to do um, p resource I need this sync dot lock
if if the iteration is p resource iteration that we wanted then we need to the key resource iteration is incrementing and I actually need to call I need to do the p move function with the source get mutable data for the resource source the destination key destination key unload um, Unload context equals null pointer. The resource the unload function equals null pointer. So a little bit of back and forth. So not quite as fast, I imagine, as it otherwise could be. But there's nowhere near as much mental load. Like the stuff has to be done on this in the loader as before. It's a bit funky with the with like this extra destroy function and the move function here. But if I actually check what's actually going on in here, it's about the same. I mean, there's less room for error for this stuff, for sure. Hmm. I call that unload, unload. I'm not actually like, there's actually nothing for me to actually move here for the destination. So I can just literally just call that. Whoops. So it'd be in the resource. I need a new, I need an extra function. Type def. Type def. Void p function source unload all Okay, we have this. So I'm passing to the armature loader this.
to the armature loader. This is some convolute bollocks for sure. So at this point, I'd actually call p unload call function with the resource, with the resource iteration, with the destination, which is null pointer, with the destroy function, which would then be inside of of the resource. It would be do 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 unload fun. Okay, this calls into this, which would then call into this, much like in the load, the, tri the triad of functions that loads things, loading into the load of the loader, and then back to this to actually m put the data in. I got the same thing for the unload. Unload, queue for unloading, or call the unloader immediately, which goes back to this, which actually performs the things safely in the lock. Oh, all right. Maybe. I mean, it's probably just about to blow right apart right now, right? Come on. Ooh, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. So for the unload resource, we have this, 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 and iterator dot unload function call. That's true. This has been changed. The post load function itself needs to have a this. No, no, right? It has to be part of this. So I need to kind of reverse these. Almost. So 269, this post load function. Yes. <laughs> No, 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 hold on, back up, back up. This re armature loader does indeed, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, this is correct. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm starting to have some mental strain. Is it just a few too many things flying about? Oops. Pass this in. I'm giving it to P resource. P resource. Does still have the old version. 
of it. And going all the way down here. I need to actually pass this in. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Here. Postload function it becomes that. This is what this load function call is supposed to have. Create info? No. Not create info. Just close, close, close resource functions. Yes. So what's going on here? There was an error. It doesn't even do that. Otherwise in here, load function, what's going on? Different number of parameters, two versus six. No, it's not the post load function anymore. Ah! No, 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 no. The load function has changed. Pray I do not alter it any further. Load is these four items. That, 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 and that, right? Or... One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six in there. Load function, this should be correct. So I'm calling this with one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then it goes into here, blah, 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 that, that, that. I'm confused. Crap. Okay, I need another quick pause to figure this. Ah, just a second. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, this takes in one, two, three. Okay. That comes out to here. One, two, three. It goes in. This is got. S One, two, three, four goes into one, two, three, four. Loader, the resource, the create info, and the post load. Okay. So where's this coming from? Simulate. Okay, of course. I go away for a few minutes. I come back. It's like, oh, yeah. No, this is the problem from the very beginning, yo. It's so simple. It's uh, in simulation HPP. It's this one. Load function. This uh, needs to be the new this right Ooh. yes yes we're much further than we were okay so now we're past that and we're on to the other Item. So this is mm, armature. If armature is not null handle, then I can do this. Equals info resource get create info armature. If hmm. it's going a little bit deeper than If this dynamic cast into that, then this, okay. Then we have something on the registrar, which is this. Okay, so what's going on with this? Oh, this is because it needs to be what function two, right? Yeah. So this is going to break down somewhere. So I've forgotten something somewhere. For sure. I need to call. Um, it's not this anymore. I need to go through all of these for auto iterator of get pool. Get data vector. this way first of all but I'm missing something all oh, right I still need to back up back 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 back
Okay. Time for it to fail at runtime. Somehow, somewhere, some way, kaboom. You got it. So, mm -hmm. somehow material loader is not Okay, the material loader, this, is not initialized at all because of a failure up here would have happened, right? Fail to fatal end called from here with extension not present? I'm s sorry? What? I failed here. Uh, what? Okay, hold on. Stash all that. The application still runs, right? There hasn't been some kind of update that broke Vulcan, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Vulcan Radeon is installed. Yes. I just need to like read it, install it or something. What is that? Okay, I gotta debug this. I'll uh, BRB. Okay, whatever. I'll just use the, the, the Vulcan AMD GPU Pro driver then for whatever reason. I'll have to figure that out more later. But can I go back to uh, what I was doing? I'm missing the armature stuff. It's just not happening. <sighs> oh well. So we've got any errors down here? N nope. Okay. So. But it's not a catastrophic failure either. Well, not entirely. So, let's go through register. Okay, let's see. First of all, loading process. Does it do this one or does it do this one? Not entirely sure. It does neither. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm in the application, I'm going down here, I'm doing this. Do, 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 do. Doing stuff, cool, cool.
Whoa, right. So that's a bit of a failure right out the gate. What's going on? I'm going to full resource load, okay? So P resource right now has, is loading as, no, not that, false. Do I have it backwards? Is this, is it supposed to be, it's supposed to be not. Yeah. Wrong location. Hmm. Okay, uh, not here. It needs to be up here. Resource. Okay, not for load and the same thing up here for create. Okay. Okay, cool. We, we're further in. Mm, we're processing. I've got nothing here. It says, or it thinks it was loaded. So let's check out what's going on in here. Here in the post load function. This is all being done synchronously, right? No, we're doing maintenance. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're in here. We're here. We have the resource. Ribbon resource core number 12. I don't know if I can even read that. So I have some data to move in. I have the move function. I'm pushing in this. Okay. I'm locking it. I'm unloading it if there was anything to unlock, but I don't think there is. So that's verbose, that's fine. Get mutable data of this. Yep. Damn it, I need to go up to here. I'm so close. I go in here. I, whoa. Ah, yes, perhaps if I was, you know, perhaps. Perhaps I was putting the source into the destination rather than destination into itself. Maybe I'll have better luck. And indeed, I would have 100% better luck. The skeleton and the animation is back. <sighs> okay, well, we still got problems on let's say the destruction i guess so what's happening so i'm going through 
I found the armature pool. I'm deleting the armature pool. So I'm going through all the resources and I'm destroying them. So I go inside here. Foe destroy resource. This resource, P resource, has an unload context and an unload function. So we go inside. We're doing it immediately, I presume. True. So we're going into here. So we're calling in the unload call function with a destroy function. There's no source. I just want to do the destroy of this stuff. That's true. So we're inside of here, we're here. P destination armature should have a couple of nothing going on here. So it was already deleted earlier or what? Okay, where do I call this? Hmm? Yeah, you idiot. Again, I was going in the opposite direction of where I should have been. And there we go. Oh, yes, it only came together in like two and a half-ish hours. So... All of the fancy footwork of like locking and figuring out the internals is now all encompassed within the resource itself. So I, that means I can drop, like I said, I can drop the actual armature uh, code and the armature just gets reduced down to just this. Just this. That's it. That's all you need, need to know outside of the armature, uh, the resource object is the actual data that you care about as a user. All the overhead, all the fancy whatever, it's just kind of out there. And not it's not part of the base armature, it's instead just part of the actual armature loader instead. And even then, it's not... It's nowhere near as bad as it was. Like, I'm not doing any syncing, I'm not doing any... I don't have to worry about synchronization, I don't really have to worry about iterations and load actually moving the data as much hmm. i need to do something about create info for sure so do i want to do that now yeah i should do that now before i <laughs> add this everywhere else so Put that up as it is. Oh, and uh, actually, I should make sure there's no actual memory leaks beyond what I'm expecting. 24, 24, the usual. Cool. Do, do, right. So, now. For resource, I still have to deal with a little bit the create info. Right now in Armature, and imagine the other types, it's actually part of the data, which it really shouldn't be. The only thing that should stuff that should be here is this. What I want to do then is I want to have resource managing that instead. 
let's say I have this is the create info and this is the create info which I will soon ish replace with this version instead which will kind of have a similar overhaul of a whole bunch of stuff but be p loaded create info so you can add new types and then load it mm, something like that so I, in the process of the post load I do not have the create info that goes along with it yet. Oh, uh, this is not. Hmm. another thing in here that also means on the unload I need to do similar oh no no not as part of oh no no, no yeah post load that's great the unload call becomes p resource p dot reset oh that's right I need to do that and dot reset that Because I, it's not a reset. It's just equal because it's a shared pointer. I already spent the effort to do that. So on resource. I need to do this after. Yeah, I can do this after. Whew. So that's all being passed around correctly. I need to go back into the, uh, the armature loader because the create info is gone. So that, 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 that. I just need another null pointer. So this is becoming a real candidate for having a create info struct to make it happen easily too few arguments yeah 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 equals armature yeah this is just gone get out of here Mm 
Then back in the armature loader, when we're actually doing this, we have, I need to pass around the create info that I used, I think, through the load. because I don't actually have it with me. What? I just have it here. I used to pass it through that way, but I don't I don't do that anymore, so I need to do it this way. passed into there and in the load section around here this I standard move iterator dot p create info that I move that through and then now <clears throat> The loaded data now has the create info that it was loaded with, and it's a shared pointer right now, so it's still kept around even if I removed from elsewhere. I want to get rid of that extra hmm, this. Okay. Uh, for the log, we have resource created at whatever. This resource of this, this is the ID, this is the type created at this address. I'm unloading it normally, which means it's delayed a little bit, which means down here will be a destroying when reference count is none zero. Ooh, I haven't actually waited around. Until it's actually been destroyed yet. Because I'm unloading it via this process. Should I even need this anymore? Realistically? Because this would be done through other means, right? Let's 
So we got the create doo -doo -doo -doo, loading synchronously. Although I can't tell the type as easily now. Then I have unloading immediately destroyed. No other warnings for that. So I can actually trash that. Is there anything else I'm looking for here? Ah, part of the loading process, I'll keep that. Okay, I think at this point, I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. Now I still have to uh, modify resource to do the create info, but what I think what's going to happen is that between now and the next session, I'll just kind of do this same boring process, but for all the other resource types. And then the next session will be like me actually going through and replacing the res and doing the transfer, the refactor from the current uh, inheritance based shared pointer resource create info base to the new resource created for object, which is modeled in the same fashion as resource. So like this, with some minor modifications, I'm sure will happen. That'll mean this will go away. And I'll be able to shrink this a bit down a bit. And so let's have a look. What have I got? This cool. This yeah. Yes. Create info has been moved. Resource functions have been moved. So that's that. That's that. Resource has had changes. A number of changes, a lot of changes. But again, this one set of functions will be reusable across all the resources now as opposed to me having copy pasted everywhere. This entire file is just gone. Poof. That's been reduced to just that, just those, just the actual data. That's all that needs to be here. No functions, no nothing. So this will be actually very easy, well, very easier to transform it down into C interface, into just plain C interface system, a struct. I'll be able to get rid of the vectors pretty easily because technically only the loader should be able to modify this stuff, right? Through a create info object, yeah. That's gone. Simulation's got a minor modification for the new load resource function. Application, slight modification for that, and that's gone. This again, you have the loaded members, create info. Load state. This iteration is almost exclusively to do with this as well. Mm -hmm. Mutable data function. This has been updated. So yeah, the destroy function has gone. It's been replaced with the unload since that does the same thing. So that means that extra function was gone, yep. Uh, it's been changed. This is now const when it's returned. These three things, which I've already checked. This is both simpler and more complex. Yeah, the subtype's gone.
-hmm. This is a lot more generic as well now, isn't it? I mean, is there any actual like faux armature specific stuff? Just here, <laughs> just this. And the stuff on the source side, of course. The armature pool, um, largely reduced, generic again, except for faux armature. Where I say, when I'm creating new resources, I need to give the size of the resource, which is that. But that's it. Otherwise, it's the rest of it is completely generic again. Same thing kind of here. I don't even have to have this here. Changes for the armature. It's now a resource. I check a handle, then I check the state, then I get the data and convert it. Then I use it directly. So it's just that instead of that and data. Yep. Constant as well. Resource, this stuff. That's been modified. The resource using the new load function and hmm yeah same thing convert it over and then finally export registration checking this I haven't checked this this works yet and I'm not going to today so yeah that's that um like I said, I'll do the other types, and I'll come back with the converting for the resource created info. So until then, cheers. <laughs>